Now to the Trump White House and every administration has to deal with leaks, information anonymously making its way to reporters who then share that information with the public. But this White House leaks more than most and it drives the president nuts. It's no secret President Trump is very upset with his attorney general. He rarely misses an opportunity to criticize Jeff Sessions for recusing himself from the Russia investigation, a move the president blames for the lingering cloud hanging over his White House. So how does Jeff Sessions get back in his boss's good graces? We are taking a stand. This culture of leaking must stop. Sessions said his office has tripled the number of leak investigations this year. Just this week, the Washington Post published reported classified transcripts of President Trump's January phone calls with Mexican and Australian leaders. President Trump is quoted calling New Hampshire a drug-infested den and urging Mexico's president to stop saying publicly his country won't pay for the border wall. No government can be effective when its leaders cannot discuss sensitive matters in confidence or talk freely in confidence with foreign leaders. President Trump has repeatedly expressed anger over the leaks and has criticized the attorney general in the past for not taking a strong enough stance. Sessions said the Justice Department is also looking at guidelines for issuing subpoenas to journalists about their sources. We respect the important role that the press plays and will give them respect. But it is not unlimited. Of course, without the leaks from inside the West Wing, the public would not know what it does about this administration and the way it bends the truth. And late tonight, the New York Times is reporting that special counsel Robert Mueller has asked the White House for documents related to former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn. The document request is the first known instance of Mueller's team asking the White House to hand over records in the Russia investigation.